Things getting heated at a public meeting tonight. Clark County Commissioner had to break up this fight and kick people out over a town hall to regulate short term rentals. And tonight, the public weighed in on what those rules should look like with a summer deadline looming. And among locals, there's a fierce debate between freedom in your own home versus what should be allowed in a neighborhood. Fox News' Lauren Martinez reports. It's not about the money. It is. It's, it's about, about neighborhood. The city not is your money. money. You could say it was neighbor against neighbor on short-term rentals. Well, over 100 people filled Desert Breeze Community Center to voice how county lawmakers should set rules for unincorporated Clark County before they're enacted on July 1st. When you restrict more things, you're going to put, force more people to go on the ground. A state lawmaker said currently there are 10,000 illegal short-term rentals in Southern Nevada. My suggestion is to like give as many permits as possible, use the money from the permits to crack down on the illegal hosts and the bad hosts. Some of the rules within the mandate include the minimum distance between short-term rentals, proximity to resort hotels, limits on the number of guests, and number of permits a person may hold. It's going to be neighbor on neighbor in the streets. Pass sensible laws. The back and forth centered around enforcement for unruly short-term rentals and fees. Would residents have to join HOA to broaden their rights? Would short-term rental hosts have to pay property management fees even though they own the home? Questions Commissioner Justin Jones, Jim Anderson, Chief of Code Enforcement, and other county lawmakers will consider. Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The county says there may be additional public meetings. In Clark